I I am sure that there are people who would love to provide feedback on the uh, <laughs> on the the recent announcements, um, and I encourage you to provide it in the in the forum. Um, it would not be appropriate to use this meeting for that. So um, let's try not to do that today. Uh, the right people aren't here, and uh, Grumpy is not hiding. Uh, there's had a family commitment that uh, prevented them from being here. Um, and was up late ask, answering forum posts uh, and up early. Uh, so, uh, so that's that's that dispensed with today. I hope. Uh, and uh, let's see. So, viewers, uh, we have not had a lot happening with viewers. The rainbow main viewer went out. A little while ago, we do have uh, updates for EEP and Bakes on Mesh in QA. Hopefully, they will get out and be distributed. Uh, and we'll get one or more of them moved forward in the process a little bit. Um, we're also working on a bunch of things that are that uh, folks from this group have contributed, and that's those are also working their way through the process. So, uh, that, thank you very much for those contributions, and we look forward to getting them out in uh, project viewer form before too long. Um, so, uh, that's that's all good. Uh, otherwise. Um, Let's see, we have continued to study and make changes to make sure that the teleport problems don't come back. Um, we think we've got that pretty much under control again. And we're testing changes designed to improve attachment stability. It's possible that there will be some uh, viewer changes that also contribute to that. Uh, and we're sort of experimenting with some of those now. And um, of course, we're we're going to try to preserve total backwards compatibility, but uh, there may be some things we can we can make even better by doing uh, by by doing a couple of tweaks to the way the viewer handles attachments. So. Um, more news on that if the tests go well. Um, other than that, I don't have any announcements. So the floor is open for anything that isn't having to do with the price changes and limit changes, none of which have taken effect yet anyway. That's great, Beck. Uh, Kitty will will try to get you what you need. Um, let's 
send go ahead, go ahead, send any any questions you've got send to Veer and to me and between us we'll make sure that they get attention. I think Alexa's been uh, looped in on those threads too. Yeah. Oh, good. Right. Yes. That's that's excellent. Um, we also got a a pretty good looking contribution for changes that may make it possible for us to get a Linux viewer out with restricted functionality. Um, it certainly will not have voice. I'm not sure what it might have, um, but we are we are spending time on trying to build it in our build infrastructure. And um, if if it works, we'll be able to at least get something out that people will be able to see. Yes, Nikki D made that contribution. Very comprehensive, um, super helpful, uh, and I. I would I would love to be able to to put that back. Uh, it certainly will not have voice support because we don't have a we don't have a way to do that. Uh, it's it's uh, Debian. It's it's a uh, uh, Nikki built it as an app image, which I think allegedly works. Uh, I'm I'm not up on that myself. But I should allegedly work on a, a sort of a, the whole Debian family of distros. We are still working on a mobile viewer, yes, iPhone specifically. I, Eli, I don't know. Um, I mean, in theory, at least, we, we would like to support Android as well. Um, we chose to prioritize iPhone because at the time we were making the decision, there wasn't anything um, on the iPhone, and we didn't feel we had the resources to tackle both simultaneously. Um, so, uh, so, Android, probably, maybe even very probably, but uh, no, no timeline should be associated with that. Probably, um, EEP is uh, it's difficult to predict. Um, EEP is caught in the um, problem we often have with anything that makes significant rendering changes, which is that our Rendering pipeline is is a little on the fragile side, and so when you make important changes, you have a tendency to introduce regressions elsewhere, and uh, it just takes a lot of iterations to get it to get it right. My experience with that has been that that tends to be kind of a sudden process. <laughs> that is, you you keep having regressions until all of a sudden everything gels. But uh, how quickly that's going to happen does not appear to be uh, predictable. At least I have never been able to predict it. So uh, yeah, so we're, we're wrestling with that. Um, we're, we're giving it lots and lots of attention. Yeah, I, I, I don't know any more. I may not even know as much as you do about the situation with Lumia. Um, so, but as I said, that, that priority decision was made quite some time ago. And uh, we can't sort of change. It, it wouldn't be helpful to change in midstream. We'll get the iPhone version out, and then we'll figure out what we're doing next. So hopefully more on what to expect. Uh, functionality wise and all that um, with that before too long but uh, I'm looking forward to being able to test that myself uh, 
Well, we haven't actually hired a graphics dev yet, so if you know any, please do everything you can to steer them our way. Yep. Uh, the removing group notices from offlines, uh, we haven't actually done anything about that yet. Um, and I'm not sure where that's going to fall on the priority list at this point, so not quite yet. We do, we do expect to be doing significant work on groups pretty soon. You can assign whatever value of pretty soon to pretty soon that you think is good. Right. Group chat lag, notice reliability, all of that stuff. <laughs> uh, we have been making progress on name changes. Yes. Uh, that's I mean, it's it's not imminent, but it's it's getting attention. It's getting actual work done. Uh, the our fond hope is that uh, the average user will never feel the impact of moving to the cloud, um, other than possibly by some improvements in latency and performance. Um, but uh, we have we have moved some things, and you haven't been able to tell, and that is exactly the success we were looking for. There will be more things moving over the next few months. Hopefully you won't be able to tell about those either. Uh, Kitty, I think you will find that uh, attachments are no longer getting killed on region teleports and crossings. Uh, Eli, we're not going to tell you when we move things to the cloud because hopefully you don't need to know and um, we don't want to introduce, we're trying to do good science here. If it turns out that you can tell, then we probably did it wrong unless you can tell because it got better. <laughs> Our, 
it, it has been it has often been our experience that we mention that we have made some change we don't think should affect anything and we begin getting lots of bug reports that say ever since you made this change my hair doesn't fit right anymore or something um, and that's almost never actually related and I, I do emphasize almost because sometimes it is but um, it's it's better science not to not to reveal things that shouldn't make a difference. No, it's it's there's there there is a little bit that's already been moved. Um, some of that project was delayed by some physical issues that have since been solved but we're we're making progress we're making good progress now i'm i'm very happy with what, where we're at Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure that I would characterize it as the fix for attachments and improvement for attachments is on, uh, I think, on all regions. Well, there's except possibly one small RC channel. Um, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely on main channel now. There may be more work needed there. We're still assessing whether we need to do another iteration. Uh, we made we made a bunch of internal changes to how attachments are tracked and handled. And it was a it, it it turned out to be quite the the um, quite the the thread pulling exercise. You know, you you pull on one thread and you and you get another thing, and then you poke at that, and you and you get two more things, and then you pick up the rock, and you find a couple of slimy things under it um, so we've we've ad ad addressed a bunch of them and we're not at this point haven't reached any conclusions about whether how many more of the others we need to hunt down or whether it's time to move on to the next new shiny thing uh, no we haven't done anything lately on the cash rework, uh, but I'm getting somebody on that very shortly again. I'm very much committed to getting that project back on track. <laughs> yes. Kitty, you're a born product manager. 
Uh, yes, the, the examination of video memory is in that texture viewer, texture cache viewer. So we'll look at that too. Yes, we did have a, a thrashing some improvement to the thrashing problem. Uh, feel free to send test suggestions to to us to uh, for where to test things. We're always happy to use resident content to test things. After all, that's what we're going to do. Everywhere is a little tricky. That takes too long. Last time I did a round of extra handling, I used, uh, what was it, bare rows, region with about a zillion uh, immense walls full covered with pictures. I don't know if it's still that way. It was terrific for texture testing.
Tower. Um, yeah, we have we have some updates on Visual Studio. It's it's building um, in locally um, and not yet in our build farm, and I have not completely figured out why not. So we're working on that, but uh, we expect that. The Visual Studio 2017 version, and it's also an, an Xcode version update um, very soon. Do you, do you have some very old Mac that can't run the latest Xcode? Um,
Yes, it would be. The server's notion of your complexity is uh, a filtered average, I think would be the right term of the complexity uh, as reported by each viewer. Uh, if 
if it's... Yeah, I don't know. If it was much, much bigger, the um, your values should have been thrown out, but I don't remember what the criteria for that is. If, if, the, if, the, if, the, if there's an existing average, or maybe if you go there first, then your value becomes the existing average. That's probably what it is. Um, if your viewer reports first. Yeah, it no, I, if it's too far off, we, we discard it in either direction. Yeah, well, uh, we have a warning on the TPV page for that. Uh, I would like to do that too, Coffee, but um, larger scripts are on the long-term roadmap, but I really can't even begin to guess when we'll get started on that. It is something I think, I agree, it would, it would be better. But current architectural limitations make that difficult.
if you if anyone has suggestions about how to make the viewer more informative, we're happy to take them.
Okay, folks. Last call. All right. See you all in two weeks.